Welcome back, everybody. So, current battle plan is to build our unique unit, march them over to Egypt, and uh, try to kick some butt. But first, it would be great if I can convert some of our cities to the Bergen Boys, which would give me the Crusade bonus, which is a tremendously powerful combat bonus. Get your crap out of here, Norway. My god. So Norway is coming to try to spread their enlightenment with us, which we don't want. This is unwelcome enlightenment, so I could kill this. Right? But it's not worth the risk. Like, I'll almost certainly kill it. But if it doesn't, like, it has a chance to kill my unit, which could be really bad. Whereas it doesn't really matter if I wait a turn to kill this, this thing. What do I do with you, little boat? I'm probably going to send it around here. Oh yeah, I needed to save a chariot. That's good. So I'd really like to... I'm curious how fast this will grow to 10 population. Pearls will be nice. I might actually want to keep that one. Yeah, the knight took a big hit because you get a big penalty when you're on the water. Oh, that's interesting. Minus 10, that's why. Man, my knight is really taking a beating here. <laughs> uh, hey, they are still good units. So the housing won't update until next turn. Cause it's weird like that, so I don't know how fast this will grow. Will it grow in like three turns? Probably not. But anyway, Dom Ray, please. Okay, so now my apostle has six spreads, which is pretty sweet. Start making our way up here. This has definitely been a slow process, but once they start flowing over there, major defeat. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. Like, normally, I, I wouldn't mind taking a bad trade, but it would get two shot, so I kind of have to be careful. Here. Knight should be okay. This warrior should be fine. Um, this knight should be okay. The warrior really won't do much at all. And then if we kill the if there's not if nothing moves next to the archer, we could kill it next turn even if we have low health. I mean there's this archer to worry about. This this whole endeavor is a little sketchy because they have the like high ground advantage, you want to put it that way. But uh <laughs> that's alright. Policies, policies. We still definitely want to upgrade. Because, uh... Still got plenty of units. We got chariots. We got our archers. Hi, Gilgi. Gilgamesh usually snowballs, too. Because of his ziggurats. are like, super freaking OP. Where is the son of a gun? Shut up. Oh, that's right. The warrior can't even um, can't even kill the knight. I'm sorry. The <laughs> that was a really stupid statement. The archer can't even shoot this knight.
Holy sight, could you get out of here? My god. I want to buy walls and shoot it. It does, it can. The only thing it can really do that's bad is um, it, can, it pillages trade routes. I don't know why it does that specifically. It doesn't really do anything else. Like it doesn't pillage or anything like that. Am I crazy or did this, uh, this... Is the Prasat supposed to give it housing? Trines the temples, because it had, it had 10 housing, I was fairly certain. And then I finished my temple, and it still has 10 housing. Am I crazy? Maybe I just missed something? But I was fairly certain that I... Barracks, uh, barracks would have given me 10 pop here. At this point, I don't really care anymore about boosting civil service. I want him to attack Congo, but I don't want, want to be involved in it. Like, it really doesn't... I probably should have accepted because it's not like Congo would ever attack me. Wait, he did get shot. What's going on? You can shoot me? Oh yeah, archers! <laughs> archers are glitched. Like, this game still has so many weird things about it. Archers can shoot over woods. Now you know. Only archers. Why archers? I don't know. There's a lot of weird glitches that really shouldn't be in the game. That are like really easy to fix. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Where are you going? Looks like they're going through our cities, which is nice. I don't really want to deal with like making Inquisitors and stuff right now to fight off their religion. I'm trying. If you want my religion so much, then come and take it. Like, why make me do the work? I feel kind of dumb not having like a traders going here. Dome Ray. Can't really say no to more of those. As long as I have enough knights to front line for them. So he took a lot of damage, but a knight still can dispatch a spearman fairly easily. Yes, I know. this thing taking too much damage. I might go with a knight here. There it is. 
Procel... Procel... Procelitizer is like the double double dip of uh, Missionary and Inquisitor like in one. And it's super, super good. Hey Apostle, can you like tank for the... <laughs> can you like tank Archer hits for me? Thanks. Mendez, a eh? 46 strength, not too bad. <laughs> so, finger cracking fingers doesn't count as speech apparently, because the speech volume was off. Yeah, there goes Alhambra. Like, I'm not surprised at all. Whoops. Nice, what we want here. Kind of just want more points for my uh, encampment, but. I think this city needs. When you're, when you're considering your trade routes, right, like, internal trade routes are really, really strong. They give you production and food. But you want to make sure the food is used. So, like, food isn't useful at a city that has housing capped, like this one. Like, and most of your cities, your cities are often going to be housing capped. So I currently have two cities that aren't, that could use the extra food. So I'm going to want to run my trade routes from those cities. I, I'm just saying these cities because I can't pronounce their names. <laughs> like, Yasa. Yasa. Yasa Dara Pura. Okay. That's not the button. I'd like to send this builder down to... Ooh, I really want that Niter Mine. I want it to repair this fishing boat. This freaking Caravel has been here forever. Because I don't, I don't have a good way to, to like... <laughs> kill it right now. I mean, I could send these units down here. So if you wanted a closer look... They are literally elephants... With a little... With a little, like... With a <laughs> ballista on their back. That's pretty badass. Regardless of how strong they are, that's pretty badass. What do you mean I'm weak? Have you seen my elephants with ballistas on their back? Oh, there's like a goodie hut here. I haven't even gotten it yet. They're hard to spot, you know? In my defense. There's one down there, too. I 
going to go ahead and get some more missionaries. Oh, and I'm losing gold. It's because of how expensive Prasats are. I'm sorry, not Prasats. Dome Rays. So I need to stop building them is what I need to do. Um, I need a harbor here, really. Mm, but I have to put it there. I can't afford the tile. What do I want instead? Maybe an industrial zone? It's, it's not that bad. Like, when I've put it... I went on a rant about them. Which still holds, right? But... <laughs> Or I could put a campus here. I'm down. What do I want to put it there? Yeah, that's fine. I'll sacrifice my woods. I could put something else over here, like an encampment or something. You want to declare your districts early? This is actually really important. So, the district cost goes up based on how many techs you've researched. So it says base cost 54, right? See that there? Campus, base cost 54. Cost at the bottom, 88. So it goes up based on how many, based on a few, based on, I wonder why entertainment is so high. Entertainment and commercial hub are very high right now. Oh, well, I think these are all discounted. Okay, that's another thing, but anyway, uh, that's actually a separate point. The cost goes up based on how many how many techs you've researched. Like, you didn't know that. So, like, if you build a district in the late game, it's way more expensive because, because you have way more techs. Like, it's way more expensive. So, like, if the base cost is 54 and it's currently 88, that's, like, a lot more. And it, it goes up and up and up and up and up as you go. So the way you can kind of beat this... You can actually trick the game a little bit. Is you declare as soon as you have a population, you declare a district. Even if I don't want to build this right now, this harbor, right? I committed to the harbor, so I can't change my mind later, which is the downside. But the cost doesn't go up anymore. The cost is 88 because I declared it as 88, and it doesn't change while you're building it. Okay, so I declared my harbor, but now I can build whatever I want. I can build night. And this doesn't go away. The harbor doesn't go away, and the cost doesn't go up. So this is a really important trick that I actually have been forgetting a lot recently, but that that's really important. So for example, here, I'm, I, I still want to build this dome ray, right? But I also want to, but I want to, I don't want the cost of my districts to go up, so I'm going to declare a harbor here as well. And here, I guess I'm doing harbors this game. <laughs> Isn't uh, Auckland in this game? They're dead, right? Yeah, there they are. I must liberate them. Out of justice. Actually, out of greed. So this will save you an enormous amount of production in the long run. I can actually declare two here and here. Would probably be maybe industrial. One, two, three. Eh, industrial zones kind of suck. <laughs> uh, as I've gone over. I mean, it would be touching three cities, so that way the factory would actually be worth it. So we can kind of justify it. And it would give us another faith, so... Kind of still kind of bad, but... Like, one... Like, industrial zones, like, kind of suck inherently. You can... But... You can, like, you can kind of... There are some policies that make them a lot better. Like, uh, where is it? Double industrial zone adjacency bonus. It's kind of nice. But that's pretty late. Like, it's not something to really think about, honestly.
Hmm. So once we make it through Barbarian Island, we can continue on. To Ms. Cleopatra. Who's at war right now, which is really good. And they're attacking Congo, which is really good. Because Congo is way ahead. Way ahead of everybody else. don't think he can be shot right now. I don't know that. These barbarians are proving to be quite a... Uh... <laughs> so is my apostle going slower on water? No, I don't know why I thought that. There is this apostle. I suppose I should have just sent him over here so he didn't have to climb all the way up. He, uh, there's a natural wonder here is what I mean. So I should have just sent him over here instead. Live all the way down there. A little inefficient there. Hey, that's actually reasonable. Yeah, I'll trade you that. Jesus Christ. For siege units, you always want to take plus seven when defending, so that they can sit under the, the line of fire of a city and live. Yay, new government. Meritocracy is a very good wonder. Not wonder. Policy? It's like an enormous amount of culture. Like, it kind of negates the need. Like, monuments and meritocracy, and then like other little bonuses you get, like pretty much you're kind of set honestly if you run meritocracy and you build monuments like you don't really need theater squares to maintain your culture like you just don't need them like it, it just becomes a waste because if you're not going for a culture victory you don't um if you're not going for a cultural victory you don't need the great the great writers and stuff right so just use meritocracy and use monuments and you have plenty I think we're going for theocracy here. Someday I'll get this goody hut. Someday. Hey. Cleo. I don't think I took a building yet, a religious building. So they took synagogues, they took meeting houses, which are kind of good. They took stupas, so I can still take the one that gives housing, which is probably what I want. So I'm building like a mix of apostles and missionaries, because I'm not quite sure what kind of resistance I'm going to be facing.
Hold it. Let's see here. I don't even have a campus, which is kind of hilarious. I don't have a campus, and I don't have a commercial hub. <laughs> How to play Civ. Don't build useful things. I mean, I'm doing okay in science, frankly. Like, Congo and Sumeria always snowball. And... The thing is, my religion will get me science, and I currently have a good number of cities, which I'm about to build up. So... I don't know. Not that bad. I wonder if the sound files are the same as the Varu, or... <laughs> The elephant sound files. I think they are. I think they use the same sounds for the Varu, the Indian elephant, as this one, which makes me sad. But I can't confirm that. I cannot confirm that. finish stable and stuff like that here. look I, like my culture is outpacing my science when you like normally you wanted a three to two ratio what are you doing get out of here I think I'll just stick a canvas out in the woods it's fine And I think I'll even build it. Why can't you build a market? Oh, because there's the freaking... The freaking... Enemy scout in the way. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. You're not welcome. Alright, I don't want to lose this builder. So I'm seeing knights, I'm seeing 45-ish strength cities. God, God wills me to give you my religion and then kill you because you have my religion, which doesn't make any sense. Hashtag ISIS. Sorry. That was pretty bad. So, finally Barbarian Island is coming to an end. And we can see... You can see how the mighty Domrays fare in this new world. By the way, Praxis, please nerf cavalry. Because it's just insane at this point. They don't even get zone controlled. Not even zone controlled! Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.